Today I'll be going through how to set up the Gram Command Lite tablet and get that rolling. Um, your home screen should look like this. Uh, the Gram Command tab icon is on the home page, or if it's not on the home page, you can come down here to this little hashtag mark in the corner and scroll through and find the tab on there. Click on that. This will come up. You have your uh, row spacing, your plate count, and your gear ratio. You'll have your EPD count, which is the number of small boards that are running four motors, your row count, and then your radar calibration number. The radar calibration number is 11.65 for our uh, small GPS puck. Um, over here, you have a little red dot. This is your Bluetooth indicator. Uh, that will change to blue whenever your Bluetooth is active. So stop sign with a hand down here is uh, to exit out of the application. <clears throat> the little blue B down here is your Bluetooth connecting button. Button. Um, the tractor is your main home page for whenever you're driving through the field and watching the motors. The little box with a gear icon in it is um, for your population and jump speed your uh, button here with the little toilet on it is for a flush system it will it will prime your motors your meter plates and it will uh, load the seed plates up and um, get you ready to plant we will go ahead and bluetooth to it we'll click on that it'll say one device found Click on the interface, and this blue and this dot up here change to blue. Okay, now we will come and set up everything. The gearbox, we'll click it, and we'll have our preset populations. You can change this by clicking on it and then adding in uh, whatever you want for population. Uh, say uh, 20,000 or 25,000. Always push done or else it will not save your population that you inserted. Uh, your sim speed is your simulated speed to which you want to run your motors at or you can have the GPS speed. The jump speed, the jump population, the jump time is what we have to eliminate the, uh, the GPS lag. Um, what this does is there's a arrow on the tractor screen and once that arrow is pushed it will run everything at a five mile an hour speed uh, 20,000 population for two seconds these are changeable and whenever you let out the clutch and push the uh, jump arrow it will do this for two seconds and then after that two seconds it will look for the GPS speed and then it'll jump back to our regular population and um, that speed. Uh, the home key was to get out, of, get out of this page and back to the calibration page. Your tractor page, click that. This is what you'll see going through the field. <clears throat> it's got a little GPS stuff going on right now. Um, but... Uh, if you click on the mile per hour number, you click on it, it'll turn green. That means it is set for four mile an hour like our sim speed was. And this is what the green is will simulate a sim speed, simulated speed. Your preset populations are over here. Um, the, blue, the green one is the one that you are, the master one that you are on now. You can change those by just tapping them. The little plus and minus buttons on top of those is to change it by one hundredth of a or one hundred uh, population. <clears throat> uh, 
this little joystick here in the corner here is your uh, whisker switch. It, it'll tell you either the planter is down like it is now or it'll be up. This jump barrel here, that is our uh, jump speed for our GPS lag. So if you tap that arrow, it will turn everything at uh, whatever the jump uh, stuff is it going. Your master uh, word here is also the master button. It will turn everything on and off with by pushing that button. See how the little dots over here on the side are turning red and green? <clears throat> and then you can also individually touch those buttons and they will turn your, each row individually on and off. The plus and minus here next to the target, underneath the target here, uh, this one is set at 120% of the target. So that is 100% or 120% of the target. Those are changeable and um, you can change a single row to plant either higher or lower the population of what your master population is going to be at. So say your master is you know, 30 right there, so 30 is all the way down at 100%, and then at 110% it'll be 33. This percentage sign, or this percentage area here, that is supposed to be close to 1%. Um, it'll be mostly under it but your population and your master should be pretty close to what, pretty close together. Um, <clears throat> and then the little gearbox up here in the corner will take you back, or the toolbox up there in the corner will take you back to the calibration information page. And then that is pretty much all you need to know about the uh, Graham Command Light. Thank you.